All right, so I ended up doing two to three passes. Um, a point three wire, I don't think it's really meant for half inch. It'll work, but it's really, it really should have been a thicker diameter wire, but. So I ended up doing, I think that's three passes. Didn't come out terrible. I mean, could have been better, but I'm not the greatest welder, but it will do. Now we're just gonna bring it back to the house, wire brush it, paint it. I figured out using 20.4 pounds per square foot for half inch steel and 10.2 pounds for the quarter inch steel. I, ca I calculate this out to be about 160 pounds, just as steel skeleton. And once you add the wood, that's probably another 140. So it's close to, I'd say 300 pounds all said and done. So it's definitely a heavier implement. But you can get a better look. Some of my welds are not the greatest, like I said, but they're not bad. I, mean, I don't know. I'm not a welder, so you guys tell me if they look okay. So some of you may be wondering why I just didn't put a solid piece of wood there. The reason is I want sawdust and little chips and slivers and whatnot to be able to fall through here and not accumulate in this. And the other reason is I want rain and whatnot to be able to escape. Even though this is pressure treated and it's going to be sitting outside a lot. So I want water to be able to get out of here as much as possible. Some of you may be thinking, why do you use metal? If you nick it with your teeth of your saw, you're going to dull it. Well, keep in mind... This two by four is as far down as a log can go. 
So I'd have to cut through not only this three and a half inches, but also an inch and a half here to get to the metal. So I'd have to cut through five inches to get to that metal with my teeth. So if I'm that bad with a saw, then there's a problem. Well, we're making progress. I ended up putting these pipes in. These are stoppers. These come out. These are heavy duty, I don't know, maybe a quarter inch thick wall or so pipe. They slide into these holes, which are only going about two and a half inches into this four by four runner, which is going to keep the whole thing elevated off the ground so it doesn't rot or anything like that. It's also going to make it easier to hook up with the height of the arms. So the, the purpose of these is to keep logs or anything from rolling off. So it's kind of a safety feature, kind of like the log holders. Plus, if I want to do a bunch of little logs, you know, four, five, six inch diameter stuff, I'm going to stack them up here. I can stack them between the pipe and the back. And I can cut through quite a few logs at a time with my saw, maybe 12, 50 logs versus if I didn't have the pipes, the logs would want to roll off and I can only stack them so high.
there you have it friends one completed saw buck There's the finished product. I have it mounted on the tractor. I'm glad I went with 100 inches. I think 120, which is what I was considering going, would have been too big. It would have been unwieldy on the trails. It would have been hard to fit into the garage. It just would have been too cumbersome. So this is a good size, especially for this machine. This is a 45 horsepower machine. Not only can I pick it up to whatever height I want, I can also adjust the angle by shortening the top link, it's going to kick the saw buck back in the air. And if you want it more level, you can just lengthen the top link. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Please consider subscribing if you like the content. We're not going to try this out today, but we will try it out in a future video. So stay tuned for that.